Uh, how do you do charge up thing for counter moves? I don't know what you're. Oh, all the all four attack buttons at the same time. It's called a key charge. This is called a key charge. You push all four attack buttons at the same time, and it gives you the next attack will be a counter hit. It's not useful in a real match unless you're trying to style on someone. But uh, in the case of practice mode, it's just a quick way to test the counter hit. It's it's called a key charge. All four attack buttons at the same time. Man, you know there's something that people will really... Uh, God. I feel like I already made a lot of these tutorials for Tekken Tag 2. And a lot of them are the same, right? But there's some tutorials that will help people so much. It's so frustrating. Like button buffering. You know that uh, button... I'll try and make this one quick. But let's see if I can have the button commands. Player attack info? No. Where is it? Command history. Watch this. So in this game, right, you have the one button. Let's let's reset it. You have the one button and you have the two button, right? So the one button is the left punch, the two button is the right punch. And then you have one plus two, which is both punches together, right? Now, if you hold the one button down. Now I'm holding the one button down, right? I'm holding it, I'm moving, look at the commands. I'm moving around, but I'm holding the one button down, right? If I push forward plus two, while holding the one button down, it gives me forward one plus two. So what that means is I don't have to push both buttons at the same time. I can button buffer. I've done a tutorial on this before, and it's one of the most important parts of the game, but I mean, I'm, am I going to do another tutorial on this? I don't know. Maybe I will. But there are so many things in this game that are made much, much easier if you use this. I'll give you another example real quick. Maybe uh, No Pants will put this on YouTube because this is going to help a shitload of people. Mm, I'll give you a really good example of button buffering right here. So I'm going to pick Dragon Off and... We're going to pick any other character, and we're going to go to a wall. This is like super huge, big deal, but uh, nobody really thinks about it because it's not intuitive. This is like a legacy shortcut style thing. You know how like Street Fighter 4 and Street Fighter 5 have shortcuts to DPs? This is kind of like that. It's like a trick or like a advanced technique or something. Uh, let me see here. We're going to go to restart. Uh position wall right so here's the example I'm gonna use button buffering right so this is the wall splat I'll move the camera so you can see the command history okay so this is the wall splat up forward three right now, the combo I'm going to do is up forward three, back two, while standing one plus two. This is a legitimate combo. The back two puts you in full crouch. What the fuck? Did I just put turbo on or something? I did. Okay, okay, be cool. So, back two puts you in full crouch. Then you do while standing one plus two, right? But when I do back two while standing one plus two, I'm not pushing back two, letting go of the back two, and then hitting one plus two at the same time. I'm not doing that. I'm doing back two, I'm holding the two, and then I'm pushing while standing one. Like that. You see? Back two while standing one, and I'm holding the two. Are you understanding what I'm saying here? Back two while standing one plus two. I'm holding the two, and then I'm hitting while standing one. So this is a button buffer. You see what I'm saying? And it's a huge deal in the game. It makes so many situations where you would have made a mistake for not hitting two buttons at the same time. It, it, it eliminates those mistakes. You can't make those mistakes anymore uh, if you do it this way. And you should, all top players do this. This is like one of those things where it's extremely important. Uh, it's not negative edge. It's not negative edge because when you let go of the button, nothing happens. It's not negative edge at all. You don't even know what you're talking about. You probably don't even know what negative edge is. But 
This, it's just a matter of, it's like a shortcut. So you don't have to hit multiple buttons at the same time. So here's an example. Th this topic oh, came up because of that guy <laughs> asking about key charge. T7 is out. This shit is gonna be doing as AF. Hey, uh, Flash, thanks very much. I appreciate that. Uh, what was I saying? I forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, the key charge. So key charge is four buttons at the same time, right? All four attack buttons. But if I hold one, then two, now I'm holding both punches, then three, so now I'm holding three buttons. If I just hit four, I get a key charge. I'm holding one, two, and three, and then I'm hitting four. This is a like example of the button buffer sy system. You see the command history there? I'm getting a key charge. So uh, I think that will help a lot of people. Button buffering is a huge, huge deal. And uh, I don't think this was a very good tutorial on it, but I do think that this will help a lot of people. You're saving my life here, Senpei. You liked my tweet. Hey, thanks very much you liked my tweet. I like everyone's tweet. Uh, that just means I looked at it and it doesn't have tits or food. That's how I use Twitter. Anyway, thanks Flash and you liked my tweet and Gib Cram and everybody else. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, whatever man, I'm here to help. Just don't talk to me or ask me questions. Manny Biggs and someone else asked how I do forward three after a corkscrew with dragon off this is very important jimmy j tran taught me how to do this mm, and i'm gonna share it with you so first we'll go over the combo right and then uh then we'll go over the trick right so first we'll go over the combo and then we'll go over the trick on how to do it. So, man, this game is really nice on PC. Look at these load times. It's very impressive. Uh, okay, let's get rid of this rage because rage is not important here. So, the combo, right? Down forward two, forward four, four, three into a corkscrew, right? So at that point in the combo, at the corkscrew, he's wanting to know how I get that forward three step kick. The reason he wants to know that is because doing a dash into a step kick is hard because you have a move that's forward, forward, forward three. A step kick is forward three, right? But a dash into a step kick will often give you a forward, forward, forward three, which is not what you want in this scenario. So, allegedly this is a common problem and there is a really good fix for this problem. The fix is, if you hold down the three button, remember I told you guys about button buffering, right? Button buffering is something that's hella fucking important in this game. If you hold down the three button and hit forward plus four, it gives you forward three. Because you're doing forward three plus four. Forward three plus four doesn't exist for Dragonoff. So because it doesn't exist, it gives you forward three. So, here's what you do. You do a corkscrew, then you hold down three, and then you do forward, 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 plus four. And then you get a step kick. It's a button buffering trick. And the reason it works is because Dragonoff does not have a forward three plus four move. It doesn't exist. So because of this, if you hold down the three button and then you do a triple dash, forward, 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 even if you run, even if you're running, you're still gonna get a step kick because you're holding down the three and then you're hitting forward plus four without letting go of the three. So. Uh, this is what the, uh, the combo is going to look like with command history. I said this is what the combo is going to look like 
with command history. So all you gotta do is hold the three, triple tap forward, and you're good to go. That's a Jimmy J Tran special. It changed everything for Dragonoff, for me. I was missing that like crazy. It was a total game changer. And Manny Biggs must have saw me doing that, and he must have been like, wait a minute. That's a little bit too hard for Eris to not be fucking up, because he's a scrub. So he had the wits to ask. Good shit. I would have never remembered to explain that. Anyway, that's how you do it. It's a game changer. It's a big time game changer, actually. I started doing back. To do this combo, I started doing crouch dash into back. I feel like it's better for me. Like that. When did you first learn about button buffering? In 1999. I remember the guy who taught me how to do it. He was this Korean guy. Uh, at the mall in the Puente Hills Mall. He was like, I, I was talking to him about it and I was like, how are you able to do these multi throws with King? I'm looking at your hands. You're not doing all of the commands that it says. I saw your hands. And he's like, oh, the buffer. The buffer. That's what he said, the buffer. And I was like, what is this Chinese guy saying? It turned out that he wasn't Chinese. Educate yourselves. He was Korean. He taught me how to do that shit. Button buffering has been in Tekken since fucking forever. And it's a huge shortcut. 